All right, so I kind of have a little bit of a strategy going on with this game, and uh, it's going to take a long time for the strategy to unfurl, as they say. <laughs> but here's the plan. What I want to do is, if you notice, I have over here, they walk in, they have to go to the left, okay? And they have to kind of go around the entire zoo, around over here, uh, and I have a little spot for them in there. Well, I've noticed when I make my um, guests like walk like this long haul from one side to the other, um, I end up selling more sodas and souvenirs and coffee and things like that on these little concession stands. Um, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> sales seem to be a little bit better than when I had it all like connected. You know what I'm saying? So my strategy is, is I'm going to not try to wear out the guests, but uh, make them walk, make them thirsty, make them hungry, and then provide the concessions to generate some income. You know what I'm saying? So um, plus if I have all of the like really, really, really interesting animals like you know, I make them walk all the way over there, then over here, then all the way in the back. Um, if I have all of the, like, more common animals up front, they're going to, like, walk past them to try to look at something more interesting. So, um, that's kind of the strategy I have going on right now. And uh, hopefully it's going to work out for me. I'm uh, on level 9 right now. I'm probably going to be on level 10 by maybe tomorrow or the next day or something. I'm not going to buy diamonds, so... Um, this is going to be a, um, gosh, I guess a, a pure, <laughs> if that's a good way to put it, game. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to buy diamonds. I'm not going to fall into the trap of buying stuff. Anyway, it seems I can move out, but I can't move in. So just to kind of give you, um, I already laid down kind of like the groundwork of the next area as you can see there's a uh, a path kind of weaving around up here going into nowhere that's going to be like the next area uh, and i'm not going to connect this path to the long one here um, i'm going to make them walk and i'm just going to put these concessions everywhere so hopefully like i said uh that'll that'll bring in an income i don't know if uh if stores really do that like they put all the cool stuff in the back did you notice that uh, walmart does that they usually have the the electronics in the back of the store gonna walk all the way back there you got to pass a lot of stuff because a lot of people electronics are i guess the main selling thing that isn't food in walmart so you have to walk past everything else in the store and look at all kinds of other stuff before you hit the electronics section which in and of itself is kind of a scam to get you to buy stuff because you would think that they would put their best selling items in front of the store <laughs> no <laughs> no no sports sportswear and expensive awesome stuff is way in the back so that you can you can pass 50 rows of knickknacks to get what you actually want and uh and if it works in the real world, by golly, maybe it'll work in this zoo. So that is my strategy. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know. That would be awesome. I have uh, lots of little flowers and stuff because that helps with the guest's happiness. Uh, I'm not going to worry about, you know, putting huge amounts of animals in, maybe a couple in each one. I don't need a whole flock of sheep you know um i'm going to uh, be minimalist on animals and focus on getting people to walk and buy stuff and that's my strategy so anyway let me know what you think <laughs> thanks for watching hopefully this will work out the way that i want it to otherwise um well otherwise it won't so you'll you'll find out in coming episodes no doubt anyway thanks for watching you have a wonderful day i'll see you all on the flip side and i am out